get started. Yeah, it's recording right now. <laughs> All right, so I don't know where this video is going to end up. We, I, may, I may not even ever post it. This might just be something I share with my buddies because this is pretty, pretty hilarious, and they seem to think it's pretty funny so far. Basically, last night, my wife took our son. Um, I haven't really put out a whole lot of info on our kids if this does end up on Chopper Garage channel, just because this is kind of good content. This reminds me of like whistling diesel stuff when people steal from him. Um, but last night my wife took our son, uh, Landon, he's 11 and he... Thanks to Make-A-Wish. <laughs> thanks to Make-A-Wish, last night they went to the PNC Arena to see Disney on ice. Son took his phone, he takes his phone everywhere, what kid doesn't? And he left it here. Uh, so my wife went back to check to see if it was in the seats. It wasn't in the seats. So uh, the cleaning crew had already come through. So they were like, okay, well, maybe the cleaning crew got it. Give us a call tomorrow. We'll see if we can find it. So obviously we did that. They didn't have it. So we were watching. We have Life360. We have Family Link. We have all this stuff on our kids' phones because the world's f crazy. Um, and our son is disabled. <laughs> yes. So our son beat brain cancer a few years ago. So he had posterior fossil syndrome. So it's hard. It was hard for him to move around for a long time. He can walk now, but he is doesn't. He has balance issues. But he loves his phone. What kid doesn't? But this dude really loves his phone. He He's was put upset. He money lost into it. it. He's yeah. Put time into it. You know, we, he does chores and we give him money and he, you know, he gets allowances and then, you know, he'll use that for his games. That's like his go-to. That's what he loves to do. Well. We ended up tracking his phone. Like I said, we got a Life360 on here and everything. So we tracked his phone. The phone was here from the time they got here until 11.37 p.m. last night. At 11.37, it left this place. They drove from here to cookout. They went back to their apartment. They were there at the Lennox Place Apartments. I got all this on my phone. I mean, it's detail every, everywhere they went. So... I think I see the security guy better. Is the security guy coming? Yeah. All right, we're gonna pause it right here. We'll come back. Oh, where I left off this morning. So we went to the apartment complex. We called the cops, told them that the phone was stolen. So the cops met us at the address that it gave us. You know, the GPS, the ones we use, it, it's super accurate. We can find it what room they're in in our house. Like in my son's room, in this corner of the room. That's how accurate it is. So it's pretty close. So cops met, they knocked on the door. Nobody was home. They didn't answer the door. Whatever. They left. The phone tracked them. When they left there, they rode. That was at 11:25. They left their apartment at 11:25. Drove to work. They got here at 11:48. Back to the PNC. Back to the PNC arena. So, so they work here. Basically, where we're at now is we went to the lost and found. They didn't have it. Well, we had the exact parking spot within a few feet of where the phone is so we you know, we're beside the car right now that we're 99.9% .9 sure the phone is inside of I'm parked beside it we called security told them hey we have GPS proof this phone is in one of these cars right here and we told him the time they got here so he just came back we just now talked to him he said it's definitely this car right here and because of the arrival go, time the arrival time According he saw the, this car pull in and it's exactly where the gps shows it is he's gonna go right now he's trying to find out who it is the worst part about all this is my wife called the phone repeatedly texted the phone we know they've been tampering with like the location and turning stuff you can make the phone beat you can do all kinds of stuff um i went in and they had actually i turned the accuracy location it was on and then i went back to check it again and it said they had turned it off so I turned it back on and then it pinged another address in that apartment complex. They may have been driving when I did that or something or moving with the phone, I don't know. Another way we track the phone, that's two out of three ways that we track the phone. And this one, the third one, I feel like Family Link is pretty accurate too, but maps, you could actually on maps, if you so open you maps, um, you can see Landon right there an hour ago, which we've been here for probably 30 or 40 minutes, right? Um, this is where he was an hour ago. You can see right there. This is at the PNC Arena. Like, that's the PNC Arena. So we got three things saying he's exactly right here beside us. The Google Maps, Family Link, and Life360. He went to check the security camera footage to see who pulled in at 11.38, which was the time that no, our phone... 11.48. Which was the time that the phone arrived here at the PNC arena at this spot. Like if, if it was my phone, I was like, whatever, I'm a dumbass. I got, I, the thing is, is 
We have a spare phone. I have another spare phone at home. I have two spare phones we could give our son. That's not the point. The point is that you stole a kid's phone and, and then you ignore giving it back. And I know where you are. Like I know what apartment you live in. I know where you work. I know what vehicle you drive. I have their license plate, their VIN number. We'll be back maybe with some more info. Okay. Okay. He says the office is already closed to deliver it. Okay. So he does have it. But it doesn't have it. He said he doesn't speak good English, so he typed it on his phone. It says, "I have it." That's what I was going to do. I was going to pull up Google Translate to get it. Yes. Thank you. So thank you. Thank you. Thanks, thank man. You I appreciate much. it. Thank, thank you again, by the way, man. I appreciate you. It blew and so. Can we get your name? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. Let me see. That's it. Oh man, we got it. That's awesome. Oh, he's gonna be so happy. He's gonna be so happy. I don't have to deal with him Thank crying. You. He has Thank emotional you, disability, and so yeah, his emotions. Oh no. Totally. No. Yeah. 100%. Okay. Thank you for that. Thank My name is Melissa Bailey, and I am SSA. Bailey is B A I. I always try to give people benefit of the doubt. Like I even was in, when we were in there, I was talking, I was like, devil's advocate, maybe he picked it up, put it in his coat pocket. No, and maybe he, he was forgot. off GPS location. Yeah, he was trying he to find it. Robbie, R-O-B-B-Y. Robert is the Robert. Robert. Yeah, Robert Bailey. Thank you for reporting that. We got your phone back. <laughs> you probably just saw that we got the phone from the guy. Um, it's been a few hours now. We actually took it home. We gave it to my son and we're like, we went through hours of Driving around and trying to find this phone, but um, he's just like, oh. he was so nonchalant about it He's like, oh <laughs> Thanks, and then like stretched and was like went to play on it. And we're like, come on, dude that's, that's, like, Yeah, that's, that's awesome. right when I stopped the video to go out to get the VIN number basically what happened is I got out of the car I walk over to his car and I go to take a picture of his VIN number. It's wet, so I wiped the water off of his windshield. I took a picture of his VIN number. I look up, and there's a guy walking towards me. He's probably 20 feet away. And he pointed at the car, and he was like, he said something. I couldn't hear him. And I said, is this your car? And he, he was like, yeah. And I was like, I was like, do you have my son's phone? And he was like, no, no. And I was just like, I'm pretty sure you have my son's phone. I was like, it says it's in this car. And he was like, oh, and he said he didn't speak English well. So immediately I'm like, all right, cool. I got Google Translate on my phone. I use it at work sometimes. So pull out Google Translate. My wife gets out of the car. He pulls out his phone. He gets Google Translate. And babe, what did he say? He said that- He said, I have the phone. Yeah, I have the phone. I couldn't turn it in because the office was closed. Which is bullshit because <laughs> we went to, Okay, first of all, it's the PNC arena. The first people that get there are probably gonna be security people, you know, or they're gonna be- And they had already been there for an event that morning. Right, yeah. uh, Disney yeah. on Ice was last night and they're, I'm pretty they sure they're doing another, another, one yeah, another one today. So that's bullshit because one, we were already at the security office. You got there at 11, 1148. They were definitely already open because there was people out front walking all over the place and there were security guards everywhere so there were definitely there was there were cops there you could have walked up and been like hey google translate i have a phone that i found last night i need to turn it in a cop would have handled that he gets the phone out of the car as soon as he pulls the phone out of the car it's our son's phone we're like that's it so he handed it over to us and um i told him thank you for at least giving me the phone. The security guard was like, Don't Well, no, he him. didn't hear that. He, he didn't hear that. So I told him, thank you. I was like, thank you for getting me the, the phone. And then I said, thank you to the security guard, shook his hand. So as he's walking by, I say, thank you to him. And the security guard is like, don't say thank you to him. He stole that phone. And I was like, I was like, I probably, I was like, I try to give everyone benefit of the doubt. I try to, you know, people yeah. make mistakes. I have, I have a very terrible past. I made mistakes and I screwed up, but like, but stealing somebody's property and stealing and some kid's property. The and we have proof he was turning off. location off on the phone. 
over like and when, over. When we, we got it, it, it was on off because we had parental control. Yeah. So we were turning it back on. <laughs> yeah. And we found. And there were messages. You could. So here's my thing. Work. Here's where, once we thought about it more, and I got home, I was like, you know what? Uh, forget the devil's advocate because uh, he knew how to open the phone. It was open. He knew how to turn the location off. And there were messages from Melissa saying that it was our son's phone. So basically what we're saying is like, he didn't try everything possible to get us the phone back. And it was really suspicious because he said he didn't have a chance to get it to the office, which the office was open. So while that's we were, crap. While we were standing there, while it we was there, open. Yeah. So he so, could have turned it in today already. Why, why did you walk into work for the day without taking the phone with you? Because it's a long walk. Common sense, take the phone inside with you and if then take it, give it, give it to your boss. <laughs> just give it to your boss and be like, hey, your team lead, your manager, your boss, whoever, just give it to them and be like, hey, I found this last night. The office was closed. I didn't have anybody to give it to. Can you can you figure out who this is? Can you take it to Lost and Found? But he didn't do that. Uh, we also wanted to make a disclaimer just in case, just in case people see this video. We're not shitting on PNC Arena. Nope. At all. Because the guy that helped we, us was, they were awesome. he went above and beyond. Yeah, Dude was amazing. Was Dude was awesome. super cool. Uh, he said, you know, he did everything he could to help us, which was perfect because what he did got us the phone back. Um, when he met us, he was super cool, super nice about it. I didn't get his name. I'm not gonna put that out there anyway, because I don't know if he wants anything out there about it. I don't want to get him in trouble. You know, dude was awesome. And then he came and made sure we got the phone. And afterwards he pulled us aside. He apologized. Um, he said, you know, we don't put up with that stuff here. That's not going to stand. You know, I don't know what's going to happen with that guy. I don't really care if they fire him that's cool if they don't that's cool too reprimand him write him up whatever I, I don't really care somebody just needs to tell him that stealing isn't okay which hopefully he learned a lesson because you know you thought you could get away with stealing my son's phone possibly and i found you there that's what's so crazy you dummy like anything with a gps in it can be fucking found <laughs> so and i will find it like don't steal my stuff especially my kids don't mess with my kids i will find you yeah like Liam neeson from taken I have a special set of skills. <laughs> I just know how to use GPS trackers, bitch. I will find you. But um, that's about it. I mean, mm -hmm. that was crazy. We spent, well, we started Six at like 10, 10 a.m. this morning. Six hours we followed. And then we got the phone around 2 o'clock. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, don't steal from me. Because I will find, I will go full whistling diesel. I will find you. I don't even have followers. <laughs> and I found this guy. This is like a low-budget whistling diesel. This is a top of garage we found we found our shit don't steal from us <laughs> so um that's about it um yeah chopper chopper <laughs>